so let's open this image the link to download this image is in the description kindly get that so with this in the layers panel let's duplicate so hit ctrl j to duplicate and change this to multiply okay and you can add levels so come here and add levels and let's adjust the gamma okay and push this guy here a little good now let's go to file exports exports and choose jpeg okay best quality and export so i'm exporting it in here and name it displace all right save so after saving let's undo everything that we've done okay so we now got uh, we now have this so let's duplicate again and grab the selection brush tool okay and let's select the high job so in places like this just decrease the size okay using the bracket keys and So once you are done hit ctrl j to duplicate okay and hit ctrl d to deselect all right now if we turn the two bottom layers you can see we have it cut out like that good now what we can do is just duplicate this also all right and hide it now let's select this one and let's bring the pattern Now let's drag the pattern layer onto the bottom hijab layer. So drag and drop it, it will be clipped. Now let's come to filters, click, and we have displacement over here or displace. Click that and load map from file. So click and where you saved the previous uh, image displace, select that and open. So it is applied. Now you can close it from here. As a graphic designer, you've come across motion flyers. If not, that's what I mean. So what you are seeing right here were static flyers brought to life in adobe after effects and i'm sure you want to know more about this hi there i'm emmanuel and welcome to the ultimate flyer animation crash course with cool graphics from 2d to 3d flyer animation in adobe after effect now select the hijab layer and change it to multiply now let's select the pattern layer and we see this gear over here the blend options click this gear this will pop up now the blend options we have um the underlying layer and the source itself okay so with the source you are taking you are taking the source out of both the shadows and the highlights from the high job okay so this is the light source and the shadows so we can uncheck this linear and when you bring this guy down you can see it is disappearing and we can see the shadows from the high job but we are losing that pattern so let's bring let's click the middle here first of all let's uncheck this and bring this guy here drag it somewhere here okay and drag this one here and let's drag this one down and then bring it somewhere here okay let's drag this 
so we got the path or the shadows in there all right so we can tweak it good now let's close it now let's turn on the top layer and select it change it to color burn good it is too dark okay even though we want those lines in there let's go to the blend options click the g and with this one we are just taking away the shadows so let's drag this guy down a little to take away the shadows cool so if you want you can keep this but if it is too dark for you you can select this guy the parts and layer and then add exposure sorry not exposure levels so let's bring only the side backwards L. so okay close before after this is cool and that's how you come up with this so that's how you place pattern on things like that thanks for watching can you subscribe i'm out peace